greetings everyone, I hope you are well. We're going into space, my name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga and we're looking at Cosmic Pirate, published by Palace Software in 1989. Hooray! Now, as I understand it, this is a little bit like what's supposed to be an advanced asteroid sort of game, so we'll see how um, it plays essentially. But it's nice music to bring us into it, I don't mind that, uh, that title page, but this interface looks very, very basic. Cosmic Pirate, a Zippo game, um, 1989 Palace Software. So let's have a look. So continue, select mission, launch simulator. Well, I want to go straight into the game, essentially. So I want to go straight there to where the main action is. Mm, let's try and find my way around these menus. Doesn't look very user-friendly, first of all, but that's because I'm probably just a, a newbie. Right, shooting accuracy too low, so I can't go into the main game unless I practice first. Mm, that sucks a little bit, but um, hopefully it doesn't take too much practice and I get into the actual game before this review's over. If I don't, I'm going to be a little bit uh, annoyed. What was the point of that? Anyway, ship configure, so there's lots of things here, but it's not like a Elite 2 Frontier Elite, is it? Sound effects on, uh, sound effects off, we'll keep the sound effects on for sure. Shooting accuracy too low, I can't get anywhere. You just need you just need to mm, just need to do a simulation uh, first. Now, if you own this one back in the day, let me know. I'm not sure the game was that well uh, known. Right, so there's the credits we need to do certain things. It doesn't look like we can do all the sims even until we've amassed a little bit of money. Right, so combat situation, situation under control. Combat situation one. Please be decent. Right, it's keeping me waiting a bit. We haven't even... We've two minutes... Right, okay. Hmm, so it's like vectors of some situation. You can see the map in the top left. We're that ship that's always going to stay in the middle. And we need to blow everything else and um, not get destroyed. Our damage is in the top right. And next to that is the shields. Which seems to gradually build if we can keep out of trouble. There's no time limit that, or anything that I can make... Um, well, I can see. I'm... Yeah, the sound the sound of this game is great. The playability is a little bit boring. So as a, back in the day as a kid, I'm not sure how long I would have stayed um, with this one. But hopefully the simulation, uh, hopefully it gets better when we get outside the simulation. So presumably we need to blow up all these other things. And hopefully I can just jump straight into the game and I've, I've blown up. My damage wasn't that good. Right, okay. Now, can we? Uh, did we get any money for that at all? It's not letting. It's not telling us. Disaster always. Let's have a go there. You don't have enough cash. I'm going to start getting annoyed in a moment. Maybe we can do combat situation two or something. Is there a quick way of getting around this? Right. Let's get back into one. I just can't get enough. I am getting bored already. Ready? What am I going to do? I just can't get enough, bom 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 bom, just can't get enough. Why can't I get into the game? Du, 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 du. Right, let's try and play it properly now, I just can't get enough. Right, let's zip around here. Is the actual game like this, or does it get a bit better? Hopefully I find out by the uh, end, but uh, already I'm regretting uh, queuing this up to actually review. It's not very good so far. Hopefully it will grow on me. If you owned it back in the day, you might have got a bit further than me and absolutely love it. But um, it's no replacement for asteroids. The ship's too big, really. It's taken up too much of the screen. Scrolls, scrolls, okay. A bit like Tron. Right. Music was there briefly. I don't know what that meant. Maybe that meant I've qualified to do the actual real game, which I presume is a bit like this. Maybe the graphics are slightly better. This is all like, well, it's supposed to be simulation, isn't it? So it's, we've got green vectors, no background at all. In the main game, we are in space, so hopefully we get a better background when we actually uh, hit that. But I'm not a big fan of um, grinding out in the simulations where we actually control it. Let's, um, well, well, we'll see how long we have to do this physically for. Trying to build up my shields by keeping out of trouble. We've amassed quite a bit of damage, and the ship's going to go kablooey in a minute. Now, if you're not a spacefarer, kablooey is a technical term which means, well, smashed to smithereens to your component atoms and scattered around the bleakness of space. Yeah, that's blown up again. Odd, odd like explosion thing. How much money have we got now? 
How much does 483 cost us? We'll zip into combat situation two and, um, well, what is available? We can't do disaster always. Combat three. Space truck sim, but it's all going to be roughly the same. You staying in the centre of the screen blowing stuff up. Combat situation two. It looks very similar to combat situation one. Look at the map. Oh, there's a wiggly worm. There's a wiggly worm against us this time. But it's the same sort of gameplay. Actually, the gameplay is even less interesting than combat situation one. I rather, I rather um, just look at some combat trousers, I think. I'm not liking this. I don't know what mark this got back in the day, but even if I had it on a cover tape, I doubt I would have loaded it too much. I mean, a cover tape for free with a magazine probably cost, I don't know, one or two pounds or something like that. If we shoot this worm, maybe it'll get into there. I, I just want the ship to blow up now, but we're not taking any damage off this thing. Oh, there's a bigger, there's a bigger worm. Maybe we can take some damage off this thing, but I, I suppose until our shields go down to zero, we won't take any damage. Come on, some big alien. It, it says something, doesn't it, really? When you're playing a game, and you've only been playing it, I don't know, five or so minutes, and you want your ship to blow up so you can get out of here. So we've done t um, simulation, uh, combat simulation one twice. We're now on combat simulation two. Please, 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 may I not have to do all the combat situations before I get into the actual physical game uh, for real. Did you notice if it had a save point on this? I wouldn't want to do this every time I loaded the thing. Commodore Amiga looks like a public domain game to me. As I say, uh, although I'm not liking it, if you had it back in the day and you loved it, let me know if you agree with me, they'll, they'll comment below as well. I need the comments. Just comment below in every video, really. Uh. Right, kaboom, kasplat, kasplat, kaboom. We're in space and uh, in space no one can hear you yawn. Um, and other stuff as well, because there's no sound, there's no sound, uh, because, um, sound can't travel in a vacuum, apparently. Dust can travel in a vacuum cleaner, though. Write that down in your notepads. Well, this isn't going to set the world alight, is it, this game? Don't think it won many awards here, golden joystick or anything like that. So, I'll just, I'll just, I'm parking the ship here, hopefully I get destroyed by whatever it is this thing is. And we'll get into the main game. Please let me in the main game, or it might be a um, time for a sometime later thing, right? Exit. I want to exit out of here. I don't want to play the sim anymore. Piracy status? Mm. Well, we're we're a cosmic pirate. Which cosmic is a cool way of saying space, I suppose. Pirate is a cool way of saying thief. Space truck simulation. You don't have enough cash. Well, who cares? Planet Sim, Combat Situation 3, Play Sim. Really, I want to exit. Um, there's F1, F2, F3. Looks like the uh, the keyboard um, there needs a bit of a, a clean on this. So uh, we'll do Combat Situation 3. Oh, it's the same again. I was hoping for something a bit different. Again, it's this blue grid, like Tron. We're in vector sort of like uh, graphics. It moves, it moves uh, nicely enough, but... Put it alongside, like, Psychnosis Aminos. It's getting blown away quite easily. Feels a bit like, I don't know, a Commodore 64 game at the moment. Not really saying too much, like, I'm a 16K game. Tell all your friends about me and bark all your friends round to shelf about your computer. It's underfunded. It's not pushing the Amiga too much at all. Right, maybe I can get this thing destroyed again. And then we'll make a final attempt to actually get into the real game. Should give us a bit of extra bulky graphics, a bit of definition. So uh, before I, I kill this thing completely, we at least give it half a chance. Now, when I'm reviewing a lot of the games, I do try and find the goodness within them to see what bits it is doing good. Sometimes it's extremely tricky to actually uh, find that. This has got, well, yeah. It would be great. On a Commodore 64, this would be great if it's playing this. On a Commodore Amiga, I, I should be doing a lot better, really. Should be doing a lot better. Right. Kaboom. As I say, the sound... It's got the sounds. It's got the sounds okay. It's just uh, everything else. It's There's not much to do, is there? It's a bit, little bit boring. Right, some UFOs are going to crash into us. Get the damage meter up to as high as we can. 
and we get out of here. Simulation's good, but we... Oh, is that thing actually going to attack us? Just going by the side. I might have to try and go into it. Oh, I just want some excitement. I just can't get enough. Du, 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 du. If you're still watching this, then well done. Don't know if you want to fast forward to see if I ever get into the game or anything. Right, I've been circled by a, by a green vampire vector worm in space. So it's not it's not a triple A game, is it? This one really. I'm not sure what the price was back in the day, but uh, hopefully it wasn't more than about 50p. But it probably was about a tenner or something. Boom. Yeah, the interface looks very basic, doesn't it? Really. So, can we select a mission now? Let's get out of it. Oh, we've got a mission, right. Launch sequence initiated. We hope you enjoy your stay. Right, there's all the fees. Fuel, docking bay, food, launch fee, sales tax. Right, so we're in the actual game now, I hope. Please don't be vector graphics again. Now, this looks better. Right, so this looks a lot better. So we're into the game. Though it does look like it's been done on deluxe paint. Like those stars. So we've got a bit of a background this time. Away we go. Now this is a lot better. You can hear the engine sounds. Yeah, it is better with filled in graphics and a bit of a sound in the background. So, a bit like Asteroid, shoot everything on your display that you can see in the top left. It's picked up slightly. I'm glad we got to this point. Right. It's hard to see, actually, it's hard to see what's the background and what stuff to shoot at. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going off it again. Ah! Uh, it held my excitement for a little bit as we get went through there, but uh, yeah, it's a bit. Maybe it's aimed at younger, younger game players. It's 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 dull, isn't it? It's dull as ditch water. This thing. But the, the sound, the sound is the standout thing from it. It could the sound could easily be in a game like Speedball Two, or one of the top Bitmap Brothers games. So ten out of ten for sound. Well, let's say 9 out of 9.5 out of 10 for sound, but we don't generally score these things. Graphics are, well, Commodore 64, they look 8-bit-ish. Gameplay ability, uh, boring. What a boring game. I prefer Lemingoids to this one, which is much more basic. Well, at least it was funny. This doesn't got too many endearing um, things to it. Maybe you have to keep playing and playing to unlock special bits, really. But uh, I, I must admit I'm a newbie on it, my patience is a little bit low, so perhaps there's bits that I'm not getting, trying to be kind on it, but... As a kid, would I have gone back to play this? That's the whole idea of the channel. Would there have been enough there for me to want to go back to load it up again? Uh, answer that, I'm afraid, is no. I wouldn't have gone back to this again. And uh, after this point, um, unless it turns out in a live stream at some stage, I'm not going to play it ever again. Yes. Anyway, something's firing at us. We can only hope it's a quick death in this thing. We'll play the game out in full to see if anything exciting happens, see if there's any end of level bosses. Well, the funny feeling though, as soon as I kill whatever this thing is attacking me on the screen, another one's going to ge generate and it's just going to go round in circles and experience is going to be exactly the same or more or less the same each time. Hmm. I sort of like game music going in space a little bit like this on the ZX Spectrum was Bosconian 87. That was a well, that was a lot more accomplished than this this game. Um, even for even for uh, eight, 8 bit, that's from I think it's converted from the arcades. Cosmic Pirate, maybe it's taken an influence from that one, but it hasn't offered it as well. Shape of the ship is a bit like um, the ones the Cylons uh, flew, wasn't it, in uh, Battlestar Galactica, the old style show. Is this thing gonna blow up? Hmm. Beep, beep. Yeah, maybe I'll just stay in the middle and wait, wait for them. Spin around like uh, doing asteroids. That could be a good thing to do. Boo boo. This doesn't sound like a spaceship, as we see in space. It shouldn't be making any noises, but uh, we can't have a dead quiet space game. That would be a silly idea. Right. What's my damage? The damage meter. So the graphics are a lot better than the simulation mode. So it's worth getting uh, there. But the premise is more or less the same each time. The gameplay is the same in simulation than it is in this. It's just though the graphics are ever so slightly better and more filled out. Could have done without the simulation bit and just add progressive levels each time to get the excitement. Maybe with a different colour ship each time. It's not. It's not. It's not paced particularly well, and I'm. I'm not really enjoying the experience. Really, I'm. 
if I got home from school or something like that stressed out, this isn't a game I'd come to first, that's for sure. Our damage meter's almost up the top. It's almost the end of this amazing space adventure, and um, yeah. It isn't rubbish exactly, but that, that game over bit exploding was quite good. There's elements that are good, but it doesn't really come together properly as a full package. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Cosmic Pirate on the Commodore Amiga, published by Palace Software in 1989. Got any comments about this game, similar games, any memories or anything retro you want to discuss here related to the video, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.